Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like uh, a lot of people are always so shocked when they when they uh, talk to me in person, or they uh, they kind of like find out that I'm not the character that I kind of portray uh, on screen. And um, I, th- I think I'm a pretty uh, I'm a thinker. I'm like a <laughs> deep. I'm always like deep in thought. Um, and I have always been interested in poetry, and that was my that was my uh, my first thing before um, I even started to think about doing a song. Um, I always did like spoken word poetry, and uh, and I've always you know written in my notes and stuff like that. And um, this was the first one that, like I said, kind of like hit home for me. I felt like this was the right time to kind of put it out and I've always been pretty open about like my personal life and the struggles that I've been through in my life and my upbringing and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty deep thing. And I'm, I, again, I'm super excited and, uh, I love watching all of the responses and the comments saying, um, that lyrically it's a pretty, you know, deep, uh, song and that it has some substance to it, which is which is awesome to read. Now, for a song like this, I mean, has there been ideas kind of floating around your head for a long time that you kind of brought together as like one big concept, or is this something that you sat down pen to paper and were like, "This is what I want to accomplish by putting this song together"? Um, no, I, I wasn't. I don't think I was really trying to accomplish anything. Uh, like I said, I've always been pretty open with uh my personal life and um i feel like i've been pretty quiet over the past couple of months and stuff like that you know i've been sitting home and and spending some time with some family and just having some time to you know write and uh kind of think in my head about a lot of things and i feel like um uh, with this particularly i did uh i've been working on this um you know, pen to pad for a couple of months now. And it started off as a spoken word um, poetry. And uh, I was just randomly going through beats one day. And I'm like, oh, man, this actually sounds pretty, pretty dope to this. So let me just like make it into to a song. And um, yeah, that's kind of how that how that came about. But um, I just wanted to put out something that, you know, people could, uh feel that people could uh relate to and something that you know um made them feel like they were kind of going through a ride and going through a story so i'm glad that it turned out the way that it did yeah oh i completely agree and it's funny too because it's got that spoken word feel to it and if you did you took away the beat you could listen to it as a standalone just a, a lyrical kind of display because it has that actual vibe to it of just you know you're having you're like listening to somebody's inner monologue almost you know and and as we kind of (laughs) and as we've kind of gotten to know you you know on television you know john and i we've been seeing you perform at shows for for years now so you know i'm listening to this and i'm watching the video kind of trying to see like where pieces connect and you know does any of this kind of link up to things we've seen from you in the past but i gotta say it's like it's almost like a whole new side of you that we get to see by you throwing all this out there Definitely. Thank you. And that, that's, that's kind of all I, I want. I want people to, to see, you know, what I am, uh, what I'm capable of and, you know, show people that I'm not just like a one trick pony and that I have other goals and other dreams and other passions. And there's um, almost like different levels to my personality. And it's cool that I get to, to showcase this especially in front of, you know, so many people that have been wanting to to see more from me lately. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's very, very cool. And, you know, and I think the whole, uh, <laughs> just the whole thing for you to do that, it's in this day and age, nothing really surprises anybody, but I think this one is catching wrestling fans off guard because, again, like I said, we <laughs> see we see you as the guy, you, you know, you've got such a, uh, you know, a vibrant personality, you know, you're the man of the hour, but this is really slowing it down, man. I got to say, it's, it's really, it's opening up your world to the rest of, you know, the quote universe. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. So what's the overall plan in terms of where music goes from here for Leo Rush? Oh, man. Um, I feel like uh, I, 
first off, I definitely want to say I feel like everything happens for a reason. And um, the fact that I've been able to kind of like take some time to, like I said, be home and and spend some time with my with my kids and my wife and and, you know, be able to put some time into something else that I've dreamed about doing for a while now, you know, growing up in uh, a musical uh, family and always thinking to myself that maybe I might uh, dabble in music one day. Um, it's, it's just been, it's just been incredible. The, and again, like the responses that I've been having for this has definitely opened my eyes uh, a lot. And um, it's, it's making me feel like that I do have a potential future in, in, um, in the music industry. And Right now, I'm definitely uh, again overwhelmed with the with this single. The, it's been crazy, and um, I'm just gonna try to push this as much as I can. And um, again, I'm a writer, so I I definitely would love to uh, come out with more in the future, and hopefully one day, uh, you know, creating uh, an album. <laughs> 